I don't know what particular reading that was in or whatever the case may be, especially with that page of cups. I was it was in one particular reading. I don't know y'all probably watched it where I was saying it was a partner where y'all was watching them go through an inner child process, and um when they come back and they apologize it's a whole form of humility where you see the inner child in them but the adult them there's some type of discussion though because we got the knight of cups with the fool and the judgment and the knight of cups is a very messy energy that's very self-interested for some of y'all this could be somebody whom you had sex with a relationship i tell you this goes back to friends people connections though not being able to see certain things for some of y'all this is judgment because i told you i don't know knight of cups is very self-interested energy though this is folly Somebody who don't listen. Somebody who don't listen. But Knight of Cups is a miss-ass energy in reverse. Ah, this could be a one-night stand. I really don't like that, though. Ugh. It's not saying you can't go out and hold, but hold, make sure you're going to hold. You never mind. Make sure you hold with a nigga that ain't going to chase you. All right. Now, we got Caterpillar. This is Opportunity. We got Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. We got the Strength card in reverse with the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This is what y'all trying to call in. Because I kind of feel like whatever you're trying to call in is dead ass something from the past, but you re-manifest it in other relationships. So it may not feel the same way, but it's genuinely new. Uh, somebody could be telling you something, though, but it this goes back to courage, especially with their strength card being a reverse, though. Somebody could be a little bit egotistical or too excited, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. It's trying to call something in. This could be something that's somebody trying to make something work. Somebody's trying to do something really fast. Step into a form of independence. This could be separating from certain people, though. Create new alliances. Because the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Mm, I don't like that, though. I don't like the way this direction of this reading is going. Because you got opportunity. And some of y'all, this is that energy where you kind of like, mm -hmm. some of y'all could be a little bit standoffish. Not open to the idea of something. Because there's too many mixed-ass messages where I was talking about that Mercury energy is at play. It's too much. Somebody lying and keeping up a lot of fuck shit. I'm telling you this how I feel. Because the first card is eight house. So it's a revealing that's coming up. And some of y'all got to pay attention. Now we got teachability. We got hollow bone. We got ace of cups being reversed with the queen of pentacles and the hermit and the devil. And I say that though, especially if it's coming out of magic though. It ain't no highlighting of some nice ass energy coming from a person. Now, uh, with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the Hermit and the Devil card being the verse, this is some unrequited type situation, though. For some of y'all, this is a lesson that somebody has to go through to sit back and watch you be loved or be with another person, though. For some of y'all, this could be with withdrawing of a friendship or a person, though, because their particular style or methods is not really for you, though. I was getting that, though, because I said some of y'all think y'all be depressed, and it'd be somebody that be sending you a whole heap of bunch of nasty-ass energy, and you ain't paying attention, though, because your ass ain't spiritually grown yet. I did say some of us was in the ghetto. Now, um, this is giving me a little unrequited, and I don't like that, though. Some of y'all, this goes back to withdrawing from certain friendships from certain people, though. It is, because they ain't who they say they are. Because we got the Death card, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Then I say that they ain't who they say they are with the Ten of Cups and the Knight Cause some of y'all have learn some lesson. Cause I'll tell you the Knight of Pentacles. Go research this card. That's the most valuable motherfucker out of all the deck to me. Cause you got to navigate through all those principles to be able to get something though. This is a change. Some of y'all learning about something. I see it if somebody studying shamanism. Somebody trying to change something. Some of y'all this could be with family. Girl, this is all over the place. The weekly healing reading. Where y'all going though? Cause if y'all got a spiritual addiction, y'all got to ground y'all self. Cause baby, y'all everywhere but the right place. It's too much. You gonna learn a lesson with your ass. You is y'all everywhere. Sit down. Um. Then we have the back again. Lost in space, needing some form of direction, which I don't like it because we got Queen of Wands and the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. And I say that I don't like it because Queen of Wands, if it comes down to spiritual matters, so that's somebody that's gonna tell you what you need to do. They gonna tell you or withhold information. It's equally as the King of Swords, though, so with the Emperor being there, it could be some type of tyrannical approach. You know, you should do as I say, lead as this or such. Some of y'all, uh, with the Queen of Cups, some of y'all could be doubting your own gifts. Especially here, though, this could be some abuse of power with a particular situation or person. I don't know if it's a mom, though, because some of y'all could be in a little doubt of something of that nature. This is attention. Some of y'all, uh, it's withdrawing. This could be one of y'all kids withdrawing from y'all. I'm sorry, child. We got King of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Hair of Fun. This is a marriage, though. Mm -hmm. It's about a marriage and a relationship, though. 
Cause it look like one of y'all got a smothering mama or y'all compete with y'all mama or whatever the case may be. I don't know. It's somebody that's out of control and then you go into another relationship with somebody who's emotionally unavailable and it's making the marriage be on a fritz and you don't know how to understand that though, especially with this eight of pentacles. So you may not want to work with it though. So you need direction or whatever the case may be. So it's like you jump from one oppressor to another oppressor and not knowing how to be able to deal with that though. But it could be causing problems in a marriage or something. Y'all don't, don't want to work on it no more or you could have become your parent in some nature. With the Three of Pentacles and the Knights and the Four of Swords and the Empress, because here go that feminine energy again, and I say that though about that mom. Uh, with that Three of Pentacles and that Knight, though, this is um, some of y'all. This is a conversation, though. This is that therapy works against some of y'all. This is like the first start, looking at the bigger picture, putting things into play. But that is very reckless, though. That's somebody who takes off of whatever it is because there's a teachability, though. Because after you think you learned the lesson, you really didn't learn what it is that you need, you run right back off. And then this is the four swords to the empress, so it's still some type of doubt. There's a manipulatory energy still at play, though. So some of y'all think y'all learned, you got what it is that you need, but you really didn't. And it came up in the Gemini reading for some of y'all going through that, where it said, ask the right question. Not be a heckler, not somebody that thinks they know everything, or trying to finesse the situation. No, just sit back and ask. Know when to and when not to. So for some of y'all could be dealing with some issue particularly like that, though. Ugh. This could be the loss. Mm-hmm. I don't know, cause woo baby, I'm saying uh, this is weird. I'm not saying it's weird, but it looks like some of y'all could be the most controlling energies. You leave one relationship to go into another relationship with an equally controlling person. So it's like swapping abusers, whether this is teachers or feminines. Some of y'all could be struggling relationships with women, trying to learn how to coexist. It's a manipulative energy at play, though. Some of y'all trying to figure out how to be able to navigate through that, though. Child. I'm gonna upload them both just like this. Child. Okay, then we got transmuting pain, the food, uh, the food's pain. We got seven of wands and the will of fortune. We got the grief will make a motherfucker do some strange shit. All right, uh, it really will though. Who? It's it, it, yeah, never mind. Uh, now we got seven of wands in reverse, the will of fortune, and then we have the two of pentacles though. Somebody could be losing out something though. Because Seven of Wands is needing to be able to stay your ground and believe. Because I told you, somebody likes to cross a lot of boundaries. They truly do. And that is mercurial energy at its finest at play. There will be motherfuckers that will be trying to cross your boundaries and lose out on shit. Because with the Two of Pentacles, that's losing opportunities. A new cycle is starting. But some of y'all, the new cycle coming in, whether you still holding on to certain friends, certain people, where some of y'all don't know how to let certain people go that at a time of what the universe make you lose shit and then that's when you gotta recognize like maybe this relationship ain't for me maybe this friendship is not for me maybe this particular situation is not for me because the alignment is off and with the seven of wands though um I'm telling you some of y'all be losing shit child when I start I'm telling you I work in a job my crystal start lose I said baby it's time for me to go Hell no, nah, because I took them bitches down so good. It's neither here nor there. Now, we got four of pentacles. We got eight of cups and the five of swords, though. That goes back to this. Four of pentacles and eight of cups. Some of y'all are very emotionally closed off, blocked. Y'all return back to a state of. This could be needy people, clingy people. Some of y'all don't even recognize that, though. Because I tell you something about swapping abusers for another abusers. It's about toxic friendships and relationships. People who take advantage of people, fights or arguments, withholding. Because some of y'all, y'all closed off. That's that grudge in it to me. But I know that's Capricorn card. But God damn, that is Taurus to me. And then we got the star. And then we got the five of cups. That's grief. Mm hmm. I say that though. Alright, let's see what else comes out though. Cause somebody gonna do grief though. I'm telling you, some of y'all swap abusers for abusers. Yeah, I don't like this lack of femininity though. Cause y'all always hear me say whoever, like men go through this. Like you see men who so hard, they always get manipulated by women. Women who so hard, they always get manipulated by men to break them down. And it's not in a way where divine is trying to say, oh, you're weak. And I'm not talking about people who go 